to be paid for. I don't, or like something they need to pay for it in the long run. I'm saying they see that people are mad about the DLCs costing money again. Now they're going to find another way to get the money and give you the DLCs for free, so you'll spend money in a different in a different way. Okay, I see where you're going with that. Okay, yeah. Like that's what I mean. I feel like they're giving out the DLCs for free because people complain. The, they heard the com- the complaints. They want to act like they care, but that now they're going to introduce something else, at, so that way they'll still you'll still spend the money, but not think about it like it's the DLC thing. Hmm. That's. Okay. I think they have a longer, Tits the conspiracy I think they have a idea in the long run there. I mean, okay. you might be, I mean, so then they'll probably, I mean, the, the, my fear is, is that they're just going to lock progression behind walls then. Which, but that's, but th- that's what they know people will pay for because not everybody pays for the DLC. Think about it. Not everybody does, but everybody will pay if they have to unlock the progression. Like if you got to pay to unlock progression, most people are going to pay for that. Did anyone watch the uh, digital uh, revolver showcase? No, 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 no. I was going to say loot box coin, but that that joke goes over everyone's head. Then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I know. <laughs> Wait, do you actually get it? No. Oh, uh, uh, I'll just smoke <laughs> in the corner. I just wanted. Dun, dun, dun. I wanted to be a part of something, it's especially right, now that we're it. back on air. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back on air. Yeah. Yeah, we we lost. All uh, Twitch and Facebook. That's fine. You guys don't read the chat on No, on, I did read Skype. the chat, but I was still in the middle of a conversation, so I just kept going. <laughs> yep. Never gonna just shut the fuck up. Continue! <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my I mean, god. The only thing that really caught my attention with uh, the EA's uh, press conference was Unraveled 2. That looks gorgeous. I've never seen the first one, never heard of the first oh, one. Oh, you would love but it. But when I saw the gameplay that they had, it reminded me of Limbo. It just makes me feel so innocent, so young, and it you captures know, that spirit. Neither of those. Do yourself a favor. You got to play the first game, and you're, you're going to love it, trust is, me. Is it like it's Limbo? Kind of. But like the vibe. In a way, it is a platformer indeed, but you just got to play it. Trust me, you're going to fall in love with it. Okay, good, great. Oh, that makes me feel so good. Okay. <laughs> feel so good. Um, I, I, I thought it was kind there. of inter- interesting for the EA's one where they brought out like the championship for the guy who actually won the Madden. That was stupid beyond and belief. And just praying him around. <laughs> Like we all like we all give a fuck who he is. I I think that's the point where I stopped caring, or I was yeah. already at the point of not caring. Then they, then they, they started... brought out the FIFA Cup. Yeah, I was like, that's like, and what they're the like, fuck and is they're this? like, this is the trophy we trophy we know you want to win. And I'm just like, <laughs> it's we as Americans belt. know we're losing FIFA this year. Like we're not getting past the first bracket like we do. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is this? Like, are they for real right now? Yeah. Oh my uh, god. That, that entire showcase was just full of cringe. It and was. I just, oh my. And then she was sitting there in the middle of the, the audience. She's like, "Oh, look who's this developer is sitting in the front row that no one recognizes but me." I'm just like, "Shut up." And he was wearing a baseball cap, trying to hide in the crowd. I'm like, "We all know this is scripted." Was it Mark it was, Cuban? It was for Star Wars. Mm, no. uh, I didn't yeah. That's like gotta be one, and it's for a new Star Wars game that they're producing, and, they, and that's how they fucking introduced. Like, they, they came and bring him on fucking stage. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, they didn't even bring him on stage. They, he was sitting on the in the front row of the crowd, pretending like, "Oh, look who magically joined us for this conference." George Lucas. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I need a fucking. <laughs> what well, definitely was not George Lucas. Well, then I'm not interested. I, I would say this much though. <laughs> When it comes to EA, the only thing that had me ex- somewhat excited, which besides Unravel 2, was FIFA. And the weird thing about this is I've never played a FIFA game before, but this one looks pretty interesting. I think that's coming out on Switch. But I don't give a sh- I don't give a shit about Madden games. I don't. We because we do because it's the only thing that's made us money so far. Madden. <laughs> But my thing is, is every single one of them, which I, I feel so sorry for people who actually play these things religiously, it's like, you're handicapped. Because EA is the only one 
that makes that game. You're fine. And you're yeah, stuck just... behind these stupid every single one of this this is the reason why loot boxes are what they are because they're riddled all over the place in their sport franchises because they got those people by the goddamn fucking balls and yeah. it sucks because there's no competition but they're not gamers whatsoever you those oh. they're not I, people who play I men you... don't play games like everybody else you're right. He's right. But I'll say those Madden people probably play Madden more than I play video games. You're probably right, but they didn't go and buy Star Wars. I understand. So the loot but boxes I'm... have nothing to do with them. But there's loot boxes riddled in there. And Not they in Madden. And buy those loot boxes left and right. Not in Madden. Yeah, they are. They're all over the fucking place. Where? It's like all custom shit that you want to buy for them. FIFA is by far the worst with it. FIFA Madden is the worst. Well, Madden FIFA's also have... international. Yeah. They, they, they have, have a bigger stuff. pool. But, whatever. I, I, I just, I feel sorry for any sports fan. Because, like, you're just completely screwed if you go into one of their games. Yeah. Mm. Well, speaking yeah. of screwed, no <laughs> Borderlands 3. That's I was expecting... Surprising. I was no, expecting a surprise announcement somewhere along the line, either with Microsoft, Sony, or, uh, jokingly, Nintendo, to see some, like, hint of Borderlands 3 at the convention. No word, just radio silence, which puts me nervous. Be. Yeah, well, I, I agree. I, I thought there was going to be something. I didn't think it was going to be anything major, but I thought that they were going to have something. Like a claptrap roaming around the floor. Yeah. Something stupid small like that. But the fact that they had absolutely nothing, I think, kind of... And actually, resulted. thinking about it, Gearbox had nothing at all this presentation. Someone correct uh, me if I'm wrong. There was no Gearbox at I all. Thought, I, did they have any... I don't actually remember anything from them. Yeah, I think you might be right. Uh, Travis might have something. I'm trying to think because I thought I saw Gearbox do something, but it wasn't for EA. Uh, it was probably for the, one of the other uh, pressers that we saw, but I don't remember what it was. Yeah. But, like, they, they didn't have a big presence like uh, every other developer. That's 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 what's interesting. Hmm. Do you think maybe that next year they'll just drop and they'll have, like, a line of new IP and a line of finished games ready to announce? It's a possibility. Is I mean, I'm still holding out for another Duke Nukem, <laughs> but you know so, that's, well, that's never going to happen. It, it says <laughs> uh, it says no footage of pro uh, apparently they had a Project One V One. It says no footage of Project One One V One will be shown outside the closed doors presentation at E3. Mm. It's supposed well, to be a One V One multiplayer shooter card hybrid. What? What the hell? I don't know. It, it's, this this article's very very small, so <laughs> they clearly didn't go to the event. So clearly, I, because that's this is like someone just threw a bunch of shit in a pot and thought it would cook together and make something nice. What the fuck? Yeah, it says uh, Digital Extremes tried a shooter and collaborative card game hybrid last year, but it didn't end well. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, that, that's an interesting mix. Speaking of card that... games, Elder Scrolls Legends. Did oh, you... oh, coming to every platform. Elder Scrolls Six? No, no, Legends. Well, that was an Legends. No, but Elder Listen Scrolls with your ears here. Do this. I have to treat you like my son? Listen with your ears. First of oh, all, we are going to leave the park. I'm saying <laughs> there was also Elder Scrolls Six. You're shoehorning the conversation. Go back to the card game list. So, you see. Yeah. So there, I took care of your problem. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it so, say she's calling me? I'm just gonna put her on hold. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's coming to every platform. My concern is oh, this. I hear softy. Sorry. Well, yeah, I know. He, he, now he's come down my actual street. Before he was the other street. Um, I can ever. I can from every street angle. It's great. So, Legends is coming to every platform, including. Sony. There was an issue with Fortnite when Fortnite dropped onto Switch 
where if you connected to Sony previously, you couldn't connect it to the Switch account. It was permanently locked to the Sony account. So if I were to connect to Sony with my Legends account, does that mean it's permanently locked onto that console? I'm sure they're going to get that fixed at some point. I I, that's I a Sony a move, though. Sony has been very... Uh, You're well, right. Sony, that's it. It's dick move, Sony. Very dick move. Yeah, because I know for a fact that it's well. I don't They're the know only one that don't doesn't allow crossplay with a lot of their their uh, games now, like was, um, was, the race the car one and shit. Yeah, same. It was the same thing with Rocket League. Rocket League. They refused yeah. to do like Microsoft cross-play. actually said we will be able to do Sony crossplay so everyone in the community can play together, and Sony said no. No, Sony said no. That's right. But so you only have crossplay between the Xbox, the computer, and, and the Switch. Yes. So I guess that means that uh, um, if anybody who has downloaded Fortnite on Switch, like I have, they can actually access their Xbox uh, Fortnite account. Yeah, you can still you can still do Switch. Er, I don't PC know if Fortnite. Microsoft. I don't know if Fortnite is made that bridge yet, but they probably will at some point because they definitely did between Xbox and um, the computer. Because I know Fortnite was a big talking point at. Um, and I didn't hear anything about it being crossplay yet. But it's still too early. This released yeah. yesterday. Yeah, apparently it's a complete another fucking lag fest. Apparently the frame rates are shit. It's it's got some issues. Got oh, great! Issues. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> Looks like I <laughs> I'm in trouble then. You, yeah. might, wanna, you might want to give it well, some it's, time. It's, from what it's, I'm it's, hearing, it's the same issues that I've seen with uh, PUBG on 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 uh, Xbox One. It's like people would drive their vehicles and then clip inside full buildings with their vehicle because the building didn't render fast enough. <laughs> wow! Yeah. I got oh, I got, remind me. I got after the show. I gotta send you that gift. Then it's a it's a hilarious gift. I love it. Yeah, they're having uh, several issues because there's a lot of lat- latency issues between the different systems. I think is the problem. Hmm. Yeah. But I mean, if they ever figure it out and actually get things to work correctly, it, it's actually a really, really smart idea. And I wish more games would do it. Yeah. Well, I, got well, one for, I got one for you, Travis, that I want to hear you talk about. All right. Super Smash Brothers. Hmm. Yeah. They had just a go and lot jump of Nintendo. Smash. Yeah, we what? can. We should. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I was saving that for the end because that was the shorter of the three. But yeah, we can do We can do it. Sure, okay. the three there's yeah. a lot though. Here's I mean, the well, thing. the only reason why Nintendo was so long because it was just, they filled in for Smash. But go ahead, Travis. Sorry, I don't want to shoehorn you. Yeah. yeah, that's the whole thing. Like the whole like their uh, Nintendo Direct. Half of it was all about Smash Brothers, and I got to be honest, I have nearly every single game in the franchise except for the very first one. I still have to seek out a cartridge version of that. But yeah, it's basically just a sort of port of the game that was on Wii U. It's had, it has every single character that's ever been in the franchise. Snake! And, yeah, Snake's come back, and Dude. David Hater David Hater's providing the voice for Snake. I was so going to say, it's the original person's doing the voice. The OG. I love that. I love that. So are you, and, are, you, are you peeing your pants like everybody else about Ridley, though? I was excited. I mean, Ridley as a br- as a brand new character, I thought that was great. And at first, when I was watching the presentation, I thought, "Ooh, this is going to be a nice segue into more uh, more information about Metroid Prime 4. But that was not even in the the, the presentation. So I'm like, "Yeah, where is Metroid Pr- Metroid Prime 4? Where yeah. is Yoshi? Where's all these other great games? No, all about Smash Brothers. So right now, I'm thinking, I really don't care about this game. I really don't. Yeah. Well, and, I know Cheever said he saw it. I haven't watched, seen anything on it yet, but they, I know they did touch on um, the new Pokemon stuff that they're doing. Oh, whoopee. Oh, dude. oh so I like I I ex- I went from skepticism about let's let's go Pokemon Eevee and uh, Pikachu edition and I am now full on board. Yeah. Am I going to buy it day one? It. No. Am I going to wait to buy a Switch when it has other games that I'm interested in playing? Yes, and I'm definitely making Let's Go Pokemon a game I buy when I buy so the Switch. Here's my thing, since you've seen it already. 
how do you feel like my biggest question with it was how they were going to do the integration between the two like does it seem like an e- like does it seem like it's good like I don't understand what they're how they're going to do that. Basically, I don't know why it's basically if when you have Pokemon Go you're basically just trading in Pokemon into Let's Go Pokemon so basically oh. you're, you're link trading with yourself Okay, so you can and they out, reward you, you for you catching, and they reward you for catching the same like even like okay. like in let's in in uh, Pokemon Go. Obviously, we all have our boxes are full of Pidgeys and we and we stash them away for dust. But in Let's Go, it's more along the lines of the more you catch, the more ever all the Pokemon level up. And that was my concern was how do you level up your Pokemon to fight the trainers? Because in Pokemon Go, everything's the same level. Everything is just Eevee-based versus <coughs> health and level-based. And they did the greatest way to incorporate it. So you have the, the Go feature that everyone loves while still having the battle system as the traditional Pokemon from from Yellow. That's They kept referring to Yellow throughout this. And you have... Obviously, you have your Pikachu or Eevee follow you. And you have one Pokemon following you on top of that. So do you also still get the normal storyline like you would in Yellow? Yes. Or... Okay. It takes place, I think, a year after Red and Blue. Okay. They did but confirm then... the story takes place after Red and Blue. So basically all this is going to do is just let you catch Pokemon and put them in there. Like, it's not anything... Oh, there's no, there's battles. You, you do the gyms. But you'll, I meant, like, you'll, you'll, okay, you'll, you'll still okay. do Mount Moon, you'll still do, well, you'll no, no, still do Golden Nugget Bridge, and I mean. go, why am I doing this to myself? I can't even beat Misty. But I meant the integration <laughs> between the two is mostly just the the fact that you can catch something out there, and if you haven't gotten it in the game yet, you can bring it to the game. Exactly. Okay. And you can trade, in Let's Go, you can trade between players. So it brings in the criticism of Go, where you can trade oh. with people. So if you have Go and let's go you can trade between both worlds okay so it's it would be a convoluted like workaround but you can do it you can do it yeah can you take well can you take stuff from let's go and put it into your go yeah okay yeah oh really yeah because you can take you can take the pokemon well and here's here's the thing they're they're selling the pokeball like it's an additional yeah. dollars, yeah, but that, and you I'm can not put it lie, in. And it. as you walk, you get you get berries, you get more pokeballs, you get all these other fun stuff. And in reality, you should be able to trade it into your Go account. I 100 percent would buy it if I. The, I I'm I'm not gonna lie, like that shit I would feed into because I hate that I have to leave an app running on my phone for fucking four hours just to get. Oh, your anything. phone still has it's it's still connected to Bluetooth. It's just like the Pokemon Plus. Well, I never you know. did that. It's it's the same thing. Your your app still has to be open and running. Oh boss. Yeah, it's just you don't have to have your phone in your hand. Mm. That that's 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 the thing. Okay. So right. the other thing that Nintendo did that I was impressed by, and I don't think I wrote it down. I actually have a legal pad just filled with stuff. Yeah, no, I didn't even put Nintendo on this. Oh, what did they do that I really liked? Resident Evil? No, oh, that's Sony, Resident but that's Evil so 2 cool. Remake? I was yeah. I was a little confused to what that trailer was at first, because you're the rat. You're, like, watching everything go around, and I'm just like, the fuck is going on? And as someone who hasn't played Resident Evil the entire series, I was confused as fuck. I was. Yep. I mean, but then all of a sudden, when you see the rat and you see the one police officer in the scuffle with what we find out to be a zombie, I'm like, oh my god, it's Resident Evil 2! <laughs> I was so excited. Yeah. But also, I, I wasn't really surprised because they've already remastered four into HD. They've recently remastered one into HD. So now yeah. it only makes and sense zero. that they're going to well, fill the rest of the franchise in HD. A lot of people thought that they were going to release the the Resident Evil remake. Like that's like all I kept hearing about was where's the Resident Evil remake? Where's Resident Evil? Where's Resident Evil? Like that was just like a huge like everyone was peeing their pants over it. <laughs> I was watching the Happy Console Gamer do his uh, reaction during like the Xbox uh, um, conference, oh. and then I just commented like, "I'm willing to bet that Sony is going to have a Resident Evil 2 announcement trailer in their presser," and I was right. 
Yeah. Oh, Cheever, I pulled up the other things that uh, Nintendo announced. Super okay. Mario Party. That's what it was. That's what it was. Because we talked about Mario Party on our dates. Are you listening? Dates, 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 dates. Dates. Oh, hey, dace. I have a show. What's hey. up? <laughs> so, <laughs> you, you remember how we did the nerd about Nintendo and we were talking about the future? Yes, where Mario Party was on the verge of, like, either completely bombing out going forward or they have to do something big to come back. So they, they announced Mario Party. The Super Mario Party, right? Yeah. Yes. And it's back to its original roots. Thank God. Yes, yes it Mario is. And that Party made me 10. so happy when I saw that. Mario Party 10 was god awful. I thought it was the greatest That's in the not, franchise. 8, 9, but... and 10 were trash. I, I actually like 10. I like Bowser. You like mode. ten because you like yeah. Bowser. I don't like ten because I don't like how everyone's in the same car. They did that for eight, nine, and ten. So yeah, I hated Terrible. those as well. So you hate teamwork. That's what I'm hearing from this group exactly. of people. Fuck exactly. teamwork. Well, I Fuck never played team. ten, so I'm yeah. staying out Fuck of it. Fuck the team. The whole point of Mario Party was to screw everybody else over. No, so exactly. it's not having a party full of people that's yeah. full of your friends. What kind of yeah. parties do you go to? <laughs> yeah, Lord. seriously. I don't. We make people ride the bus at our parties. Yeah, yeah. we screw yeah. over one person, just like Bowser mode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Most of the time it's Gibby, but that's besides the point. And he's our Bowser, so it all makes sense. <laughs> it makes perfect sense, exactly. That's why I love it. Oh, and he yeah, when I loses saw... when he plays as Bowser. Oh, yeah. not necessarily. Most of the time. Do you want to go at it, bitch? Let's go. Fuck <laughs> fight me. When Take and where ends. Don't forget the barbecue sauce. I, I did like how they renamed it, though. That it's Super Mario yeah. Party, so it really does feel like it's a new era of gaming. And I've seen some of the stuff they were doing, where like, it, this is the thing that I thought was a little crazy. Yeah, yeah, there's some modes you have to have more than one Switch. So I think that's, well, that's only if you if if you do local connectivity play. That's probably also a money grab. Well, it's that, or you need another buy another Joy-Con because they yeah. were all use. Okay, so that's the thing that'll irritate me having these. Uh, enormous yeah. ogre hands that you had to play with only <laughs> half of the Joy-Con. <laughs> yeah. But wh what I'd like to know is if this game will have online play because I would oh, yeah. love to do that because it's about time. It'd be about time that this stepped into the digital age. And well, they've already announced it. And now it you is, can screw There's going to be an online stranger. mode? Yeah, they, they've... all. Oh, well, sorry. Back, uh, a few months... Uh, what was it? A month ago or a month and a half ago they officially announced the price point of online play and when they did that, they said these games and games to be announced. So I believe when they were working on the Switch and the project, and like they said at the end of their uh, end of four financial reporting, which is open to the public, you're always more than free to read it with me. Well, they say that it's going to be the way of multiplayer for Nintendo. So I have a question. Thank God. It's and about I'm sorry, time. I it, but I have a question. Didn't Nintendo's multiplayer online always used to be free? Are they switching to a yeah. paid platform? Yeah, it's paid. I think it's like four ninety nine a month. Oh no, four ninety nine a year. Something oh. ridiculously low. Twenty dollars a year. Four, oh, it's four ninety nine a month, and it's twenty dollars a year. So I mean, that's, that's phenomenal. Still, that's still ridiculously cheap compared to the rest of them. Exactly. I mean, PC gaming's free. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, is it though? In the long uh, run, is PC game really free? Yeah, because yeah, I already, I'm already for paying for internet, internet connection, just like you have to, to for the subscription anyway. The quality games, though, gizzard. I mean, I mean, I can play. I can play Mario 64 with my friends on an illegal server. How about you? You just said illegal. <laughs> but it's free. He's not and... affiliated with the Dace Man Show anymore. Get him. Oh, yeah. no, the copyright point. But, I mean, I think it'll be fun to be able to now screw over random people. Like, we used to do a Mario Kart when we were we would play online with, like, all the crazy people from, like, Canada and Japan. North Korea, oh, you mean? I miss those days. Whichever ones. Those were fun. <laughs> I loved playing the battle mode on, on when we would get drunk and play the battle mode on Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, I miss those days of playing online, playing Mario Kart online and smoking the competition. I always came in first. Yeah, it's fun. I it's challenge fun. you to a match. Bring it, dude. Bring it. All right. All right. Uh, I I have to get... Uh, wait. Do you still have Mario Kart uh, 8 for the oh, Wii I have no, I, I have none of these games. 
I have I have the one for the Wii U. I didn't get the one for the Switch yet. I, I want to get it for the Switch because of all the DLC. Yeah, that which looks pretty finas, finas, fina, phenomenal. I had phenomenal. A shirt, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did Gibby just make fun of someone speaking? Yeah. <laughs> I went to at least a, a gaming reference. Okay, thank you. No, they, that uh, is a so Muppets not. reference. <laughs> you son no. of a bitch. Well, I, I know, How could I know, you? I know from World of Warcraft. Yeah, who got it from the Muppets? <laughs> God, get cultured. <laughs> Can we make that a shirt? Wow, somebody got triggered. Can we make that a shirt that says "Manana"? Get cultured. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, I'm on it. Hey, well, they All right, I'm call. buying that one. Is it, can I put Gibby's face on it? Yes. <laughs> and, and just with, with, with a giant, like, no smoking single, but over his face. Yeah. Manamana, get cultured. Gibby's face in the center. Got it. <laughs> we got we got a new shirt here on the Days Man Show. We like it. We like it. You know, one day we're actually going to be famous, and people are going to listen back to all these old shows, and they're going to go, I'm going to make this shirt, and we're going to see it, like, a picture online at, like, a fan show. And it's going to be, god damn it, I Hopefully forgot not, about this. Hopefully not, because we've I, referenced multitudes of times to the fact that Gibby is a child molester. <laughs> I, I'm going to be so upset when we actually make it famous and Gibby's the most popular one in the group because of what we do to him <laughs> and how many times yeah. we put his face everywhere. Uh, I'm I mean, like, oh, it's, it's, it's that Gibby show. No, 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 it's the Dice Man show, damn it. He came on <laughs> after. <laughs> Second week, baby. <laughs> Well, by, so anyone listening that wants to call Gibby, Gibby's cell phone number is 801-721-2408. Please give Gibby a call. We really need to call this number after the show's over, because I need to know what this is. You can call the number. I don't want to fu- I'm not giving in to that man. Exactly. He's been trying for months. I got a view. I think we just killed him. I think so. For months, though, he's been like, you gotta call this number. I am never going to call that number because of how much he wants us to call that number. <laughs> so <laughs> happy. I, I think he's broken. We killed him. We killed him. Can you just go, broken. Can, you, can you go, tee hee hee, tee hee hee. He's a goner. We've called worse numbers. I doubt it. We called hookers. No, you have it. You have it. We've called prostitutes. Yes, we have. We put Dan Ralph on multiple dating websites. He's been on Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> that old Grinder. So, do we have any more stories? Cheever's dead. Cheever uh, does I'm seem trying to, to calm dead. down. Ooh, I got a good one. This one I was so excited for. This was during Bethesda's presentation. All out. A new Doom game. Yes, yes. Oh my God, I forgot about that. Yes. Sorry, I'm so loud. We actually had a reaction from Dace. Holy crap. Because the first Doom game was awesome. That was like one of my best streams on Twitch when I was just shooting things and screaming in panic. Ah, uh, good times. Oh my, yeah, when I saw that, I literally jumped right out of my chair because I've been a Doom fan for over 20 years. And to have a new entry, I was fucking excited. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm stoked. Because it picks up right where the last one left off, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm, get it. Get it! Did they? Did anyone? All right. I know. I don't. I don't care. I'm probably sounding a broken record. Cheever, are you alive yet? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Did they do any gameplay footage of of Spyro, or did they just talk about the release date and disappoint my life? Spyro. Uh, EA did not talk about Spyro at all. Do you That's want really game well, footage? Well, turn on your PlayStation One. Soon. No, yeah. they told me. It, someone told me it was happening today. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Not Again, that I'm aware of either. If you want gameplay footage, just go turn on your PlayStation 1. Exactly. Shush, Shush me. <laughs> so, actually, I, I'm glad that you brought Doom up because it slipped my mind to bring this up earlier. Doom! So, EA and Microsoft, they all bleeped out curse words. <laughs> except for Bethesda. Bethesda just went, fuck it, on the stage. They, they dropped the F-bombs. They, just, they had a rock show. They had a metal show. And they were just yeah. like, we don't care. We're, we don't care about Nazi symbols in our thing. Fuck Nazis. They kept saying fuck Nazis and kept getting rounds of applause. <laughs> it's oh, great. I like it. I like it. I mean, they're not wrong. But e- EA and Microsoft has made it a point to 
eliminate Nazi symbolism. Like, if Battlefield Five takes place during World War II, but you don't really see the Nazi flag. How you else do you punch Hitler emblems. in the face? Exactly. So... Uh, when Doom came out, like, all you just see is, like, just this Nazi symbolism everywhere. Like, this grand throne room. And I'm just like, well, Bethesda's really good for you for not bending bending the knees of these as so, say, this, justice warriors. Doom isn't exactly, like, the most family-friendly thing to begin with, so I highly doubt they care. <laughs> yeah, but you're talking about uh, Wolfenstein Bloodlines? I think so. yeah. that's the name of it? Oh, my God. Wolfenstein, yeah, I know what you're talking about. The, the new one that just came out? Well, Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, yeah, I think that's already been out and it's coming out on Switch later this month. It was a fantastic game. It was also majorly jacked up. Well, of course. Why wouldn't it? It's Bethesda. Ever yeah. since they acquired everything from id Software, I mean, they've did you, really... Did you play it on a different console, Travis? Honestly, I haven't played a new Wolfenstein game since the game came out on PC way back when. So I watched Mike play this game, like, religiously watched it because it was it was hilarious and it was insane. Like, at one point, the main character's head legitimately gets chopped off. And yes! And they attach it to a superhuman body. Yes! Like, the, the his wife, throughout the entire game, is like nine months pregnant and just being a complete total badass. There's some crazy, like, 70s, like, era, like, black lady running the entire crew, and you just, you don't fuck with her either. And they basically make the, the main villain in this in this entire game almost exactly like a dictator like Hitler. I want this game. I want all of them. Wolfenstein I want to kick is, some Nazi ass. Wolfenstein is so... Like, the new Colossus was ridiculous. I've never seen Mike go through a game faster than he went through this game. All right. I'm... I, Dear Santa Claus, I want to kick some major Nazi ass this Christmas. I want all these games right now. Well, I don't think Wolfenstein is actually Nazis. I think it's just like a like a, like I don't know what it's supposed to be. I just know it was absolutely ridiculous and it was great. Like, oh, it was insane. Oh, I gotta play this. I gotta play it. Well, it's coming out for the Switch. Yes. Well, I know that. Switch. <sighs> I think we lost everybody else. No, I'm here. Oh, We're okay. here. We're just letting you guys have your moment. Okay. Well, also, I'm yeah. I'm working on the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be done, right? Needs to be done. How well, else do we make money? I guess I'm don't. buying. So send me the link because I'm buying that one. I appreciate I... your four dollars. On uh, another note, Bethesda says they don't plan on making any Battle Royale content. Thank God. Yep. That was kind of interesting, considering yeah. all other major uh, contenders are actually jumping on this Battle Royale thing. Because they're not but, cheap! Uh... Bef before we close out, we got five minutes left. Can we just comment on Digital Revolver's like, almost sane press conference this year? Same conference. Do Sane. tell. Sane. Sane. S A N E. Sammy God, Zane. With you so far. So Sammy last Zane. year they did what was a coke fueled bad trip at like I drank too much last night. Oh, so how we do minutes. our show? Yeah. Sorta. Uh, sorta. Yeah. yeah. Except Gibby uses beer, not coke. And it was the most talked about press conference last year. Like everyone was like, "Did you? Oh my god! Did you see what they did? I think they got kicked out." <laughs> I my think kind they of got developer. Out. Yeah, and so this year they kind of did the same thing. Uh, the hostess did get killed. What? People died. There was a flamethrower involved, <laughs> and they did announce a few, uh, two new games. One game that's in development. One game that's coming out soon. So that was the sanest I think I've like but two years straight. Any comments on that, guys? Like, do, do you want to see more press conferences that involve roasting uh, people in the audience with flamethrowers, people sharing popcorn and picking their teeth? I want to know more, where my invite was. Things. Yeah, exactly. Where is my invite? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if I, I'll see if I can get us tickets. I'll see if we can get us tickets for next just to year. that one. I don't want any of this other bullshit oh, where there's oh, actually yeah. quality games. Oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm actually gonna email them tonight. 
and go, hey, we are this like a very small video game podcast. And, and we love flamethrowers. We're down. We, we love random shit like this. Can we please be a part of your next press conference? I will host it, and you can set like my toe on fire. Uh, oh, no, we need we need to do it. We need to do a press reel. We need to do like a reel of the shit that we do and can do, and be like. We just want to be a part of this. You can write the script. You can tell us what to do, but we want to be a part of this. <laughs> yes. And All right. I got nothing else. So that's basically wraps up everything. We talked about Bethesda. We talked about Microsoft. We kind of touched on Sony. Not much. They had a pretty awkward press conference, too. They didn't with, really like, have much, though. Well, they, they changed their venue. They went from, like, this church to this, like... Hall, and then they had like these weird animatronics play music between videos, and they had this guy play a bamboo flute. It was it was weird. Sounds it. Yeah, but it was normal weird. No flamethrower weird. No flamethrower weird. Like I said, the the host, the person that presented the show, she got mowed down by a machine gun at the end. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Like, Spoiler. she's legit dead? Yeah, yeah. Th- think, think, don't uh, tease me. Shooting. Think no. school shooting. Just rapid fire oh into God. the chest. Don't, te- don't tease me. <laughs> I'm sending this to you guys after the show. Like, oh, please do. I-, I can't look at it now because it'll crash the show, but I guarantee yeah. I'll watch it a couple times afterwards. Okay, yeah. I'll, se- I'll send last year's first because apparently there's a storyline. <laughs> Murder? Yeah, yeah. There's this, like, like the guy that shows up at the end was in the first press conference. There was this guy walking around at, like as a hologram. I I didn't understand the reference, but everyone else apparently did. So. Oh my god, the t-shirts are on sale for fourteen dollars. Oh um, what? Oh uh, no, I'm not spending fourteen dollars for, for a Manamana t-shirt. They're usually twenty. Oh, say, yeah. oh yeah, I'll, on, I'll buy that. It's on sale, motherfucker. For how long? Uh, it says. Hold on. It says two days. Two okay. days and get... 23 hours. Alright, when I get my paycheck, I'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, this has been the Dace Man Show, focusing on E3's press conference this year. Uh, I've basically uh, had everything written down, but didn't touch anything, so I might probably do a nerd by myself with some friends. I don't know. Uh, Gibby, tell us what you're doing recently. I still could do the hosting thing. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Gibby, what do you got going on? (laughs) Gibby, what do you got going on? I don't have anything going on, apparently. You you have a brand new t-shirt. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, 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 that is my thing. Thank you. Please email me. Where? At the gmail.com. Oh my god. (laughs) Frank, what do you got going on? I, I get one thing to do. Tits! And Frank isn't even here! That's the best part. I fucking quit. I'm done. Frank Frank Corner. Don't you tease us. Don't you dare tease us. Mr. Uh, Goss! Uh, Check out my YouTube channels at youtube.com slash gameoftravis. I now focus on scary games. Right now, I'm playing one of the greatest GameCube games ever made, Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. Ooh. Yeah, that game is... Oh my gosh, that game is awesome. Sounds like fun. It is a lot of fun. If you guys uh, miss out on this game, uh, first of all, shame on you. GameCube was great. Uh, yeah, but I'm playing that right now. And I've got some other uh, scary games I'm going to be focusing on here. Also, continue on, continuing on with Doom, because uh, Doom is fucking awesome. You can find that at youtube.com slash Game of Travis. And also, check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Game of Travis, where I fo- focus we, mostly on retro I'm, games I'm, on that channel. I'm sorry, we actually missed a game that I know Dace is really interested in playing. What? Spider-Man 4. Oh, I had that shit pre-ordered like two years ago. Like, <laughs> did you did you see the did you see the gameplay the gameplay for it? It showed the Sinister Six six, but only five of them. Yes. Also, it looks like art like the the fighting style looks like Arkham Asylum, and I'll leave it at that. Yes. Well, it's Insomniac that makes it. Didn't they make oh, one of the so Batman? Is this... Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool when I was watching out. It just I just kept thinking Arkham Asylum, but for Spider Man. Cheever, what do you got going on? Well, so I'm um, helping write all this other fun stuff that we're doing. 
Uh, that's basically it. You can follow me at Cheever212 at Twitter. You can always email me at Cheever212 at gmail.com. Or you can always call me at... Let me pull this up. Oh, no, I deleted it already. So you can always call me at... Where are you, Clark? Okay, then. 801-721-2408. Oh, my God. For a good time. You always got to say it's for a good time, though. Hello. You're, you're killing me, Cheever. You're killing me. I'm going to make bumper stickers, and I'm just going to start throwing them everywhere. Do I mean, it. you could... We we make stickers on our site. Uh, we've, we've done it. Uh, my friend's done it all the time. Well, I actually, I go to a bar, and I write it. Every like every bathroom stall I go to. Oh my god, you're killing me. Anyway, if you uh, <laughs> if you're watching on Twitch, head over to facebookcom slash man Show. Give us a like there. If you're watching on facebookcom slash man Show, head over to twitch.tv slash man and Friends and give us a heart. You can subscribe. We don't really play games anymore. I don't know what happened. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna blame work. Um, Follow me on Twitter at the Daceman. Follow us all on Twitter on the Daceman Show, plus all the individual accounts that have been scrolling all night long here on our stream. Uh, check out the Show.com where we do movie reviews. Maybe we'll get back into game reviews, and uh, hopefully we'll publish some of this E3 coverage uh, so you guys can reference the trailers and such. We don't know. Um, I just, I really don't know. Anyway, we are back in the studio next week, and I'm going to say that because. Uh, I hope I'm back in the studio next week. They have a tendency if, of sending me to far off places. If not, Atlanta may burn to the ground. <laughs> I doubt I'll be back here, but that doesn't mean they don't have the ability to send me elsewhere. Uh, and then we'll have a big fifth annual special because uh, June da, 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 26th yeah. is five years we've been doing this show. Five years. <sighs> That's all I got. Anyway. Is that five years consecutively or off and on? Consecutively. <laughs> there has not been one week where the show did not air. So, I like to take that as a hat tip. But anyway, uh, that's why we're on episode 260. But five-year anniversary special, we're going to try to do something uh, new and different for it. And if we like it, maybe we'll stick with it. If not, uh, it'll be a neat little fifth anniversary show. So uh, stay tuned to Facebook.com slash Stacemen Show and Twitch.tv slash Stacemen Friends. And that's really all we have going on. And I don't think I have outro music. You know, sure. because... What? <laughs> Every time I keep saying I'm going to... The Dace Man Show. That's, uh, that was nowhere close. But I appreciate the enthusiasm. It's like, uh, let's see, let's take a look at that. Nope, pop up, up, up. Nope, that's the actual show. Damn it, every week I do the same fucking thing. <laughs> it's loading. Ah, oh. oh, there we go. So thank you guys for tuning in, as always, uh, for the few. For the proud. For the chicken. For the proud. And for the day's tacular, uh, we'll see you next Tuesday.